How to select the right size centrifuge. This seems to be a common question that many people have, especially without the proper education and experience. These tips will help you to select the right size centrifuge for your next drilling project. Number one, how much volume will the rig be pumping? One of the most important factors in selecting the right size centrifuge is to choose one that can process 100% of whole volume. Ideally, the centrifuge should be able to process a higher capacity than the rig pump can supply and suck directly from the sand trap. This will ensure that whatever comes out of the hole goes through the centrifuge. If this is not possible, then the hoses should be connected to the shaker tank. From my experience, the only time that higher processing capacity is not critical is when you have a flock water section where you are trying to get clean water. By adding flocculant, you are chemically enhancing the system to drop out the solids, and the centrifuge just has to remove them. Number two, what is the required mud weight for your drilling program? If you require a higher mud weight to hold back gas, then you will have to select the machine with a large enough processing rate to account for the decrease in pumping ability of the centrifuge feed pump. As the mud weight and viscosity increase, the centrifuge pump output will decrease. This will affect the amount of volume that you can get to the centrifuge. The centrifuge may also have an increased torque load placed upon it by higher mud weights and viscosity. In this situation, having a large enough gearbox to handle the torque is very important. Number three, what type of bit and directional equipment will you be using? Different types of drill bits and directional equipment will have an impact on how a centrifuge will perform. Tricone bits typically produce larger solids which are easier for the centrifuge to remove. However, PDC bits tend to mulch the solids to a finer level which makes them much more difficult. Certain types of directional equipment are designed to give you a smoother or wider hole. This creates a lot of ultrafine particles which are very hard to remove. Selecting the right size shaker screens has a huge impact on the solids control system and the centrifuge. Properly maintained shaker screens and screen sizes will determine how hard the centrifuge will have to work, typically requiring a longer retention time to remove solids. G-force will also help to remove solids, up to a certain point, after which diminished returns are experienced due to increased power requirements and inefficient cut points for the amount of investment required to achieve them. Number four, what type of hole are you drilling? Directional, horizontal, or vertical? Horizontal and directional wells tend to have finer solids through the amount of contact that the drill string has with formation and the solids as they exit the hole. This can be seen through increased hole drag higher pump rates needed to clean the hole, and equipment wear. It is very important to remove these solids on the first pass through the centrifuge, or they may become too fine to remove on the second pass through the drill string and back to surface. Therefore, 100% processing volume and increased retention time are key with centrifuge selection. Number five, what type of mud will you be drilling with? Drilling muds will react differently in different centrifuges. Some muds will require more retention time, while other muds will require less retention time. Certain muds will create increased torque and friction, requiring a larger gearbox. It is important to ensure that the centrifuge you select is appropriate for the type of mud. As well, you should ask for proof that the machine will be adequate for your drilling fluid. The additions of certain formation particles can have a great impact on drilling fluid, such as salts, bentonites, and anhydrates. These products can increase mud weight viscosity and make it harder for the centrifuge to remove the solids and for the feed pump to be able to pump them. Having this knowledge will make your next centrifuge selection process much easier. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at 403-571-6688 or you can contact me on my blog, Twitter, LinkedIn, or online. Thank you, and have a great day.